Hey, Lee. I'm sorry for leaving the motor in unattended. I never thought a laser pointer would be the thing that saved our lives. I'm glad you showed up when you did. Well, we gotta stick together. Were they really chopping up people? For food? Yeah. And Clementine almost ate some. Man, that is sick. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She didn't see or... I stopped her. This fucking world now. Tied in just unspeakable shit at every turn. Ugh. Were you guys able to salvage anything good from the dairy? Not really. St. John's took everything I had before the place got completely overrun with walkers. Oh, I was able to grab a couple of your things back while uh, Brenda wasn't looking. It doesn't work. You have any use for it, Doug? It's just a basic camcorder. A save lot's cheapy. Let me check it out, see if I can get it working. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready. I've changed my mind. I want you to come with us when we leave. Yeah? Hell yeah. We're a team, man, me and you. By taking out Larry before he turned, you saved all of us in that meat locker. And that saved my family, too. Yeah, I'd say you earned it. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were gonna kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God, not more strangers. Don't shoot! We're here to help! Figures. Oh, crap! Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. It's locked. 
No shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More food in here. Supplies? I'll take it. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? Okay. Here, Clem. Want some... Uh, batteries? Hey, Lee. You know that camcorder? I got it working. You might want to see this. Sweetheart, we won't let them bandits get you, will we? Are you no. Doing Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find thinking it, I'll you're I'll safe. You know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. <laughs> 